Okay, so it is now the next morning. Okay, so it's the next morning now. Whoa! Uh, should still be asleep. Huh? You should still be asleep. <laughs> uh, guys, it's wake up time. Come on. <laughs> Do not be difficult, please. Where did my sword go? I put I put it away. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh god, it's, it, it grew legs and walk away. See? Here. <laughs> there. See? It's back. <laughs> oh no, my sword keeps disappearing and reappearing! Ah! <laughs> it! I had to, come on. No, you did it. You just chose to. Uh, okay, Bata and Ronan, you wake up to see that... Raymond and Hoopla are kind of curled up right next to each other. I don't want to end, but at the same uh, time, they're gonna need their munchies. Yeah, I poke Hoopla with the end of- I poke Hoopla on the head a, a few times. Hey! Wake up! Wake up! Uh, mm, 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 mm. Uh, Hoopla rolls over. Did all of you sleep chock-a-block all night? Simon, um, hang on a sec. I am going to need you to roll a wisdom saving throw, please. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do this then. Oh no. Okay. Oh uh, boy, this is not gonna be good. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Okay, the second you step into the room, you kind of step on a makeshift tripwire, and the next thing you know, your face is full, like, of what seems to be Hoopla's euphoric breath. Ah, hold it. And suddenly, everything in the world is really great. <laughs> oh my! Raymond just starts rolling with laughter, kind of revealing that he was never, that he was not asleep. Uh, yeah, I was going on the ground with him. <laughs> um, Bata looks around and was like, I think I. <laughs> He's like, can you do that to me too? Uh, there you go. Yeah, okay. He's fine. <laughs> It'll go. It'll go away in a few minutes. <laughs> Fishy bro. How many fingers am I holding up? I was actually kind of hoping for Hyacinth, but this is way better. Yeah, so, so <laughs> Simon looks at Simon looks at Simon looks at Ronan with a very goofy smile. November. <laughs> I am going to make okay. bed. I'm going to make the bed. I am not going to question anything. I'm just going to Okay, then he's bed. fine. But you dudes! You <laughs> set all this up in the middle of the night! And you yes, did it! And you didn't invite me! Oh. It's okay. okay. I had we to fight to be involved in the next prank, please. There we go. Now they know. I mean, I'm down with that. I just wanted to find a way to cheer colors up. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to help with the prank too. Hey, next time, goat boy. And you too, big strong. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, what exactly did that stuff do to him? <laughs> Hold on, I need to actually pull it back up because I closed it like a dumb dumb. You Nathan see Ray is just staring at Simon. Okay. Well, you see Ray had these little ball sacks, and he said we need to fill it up with something so <laughs> somebody can fit the wire. And I thought about my your foreign breath, and yeah, <laughs> that was really I... easy to set up in just like uh, just like a few minutes. I'm sorry. So these little ball sacks. I know. No ball sack. 
So you're right. saying that the dude is tripping? Yup. Okay, uh, basically, the euphoric breath of a fairy dragon will make the enemy do random things and behave not normally unless they roll the right die in combat. But because this isn't combat, you're just you're just feeling really great right now. Radical. Yeah, Simon. Lo Simon looks towards Hyacinth and it looks her up and down. Hyacinth, who lit you on fire? <laughs> the is on the ground just rolling. Yeah, Ray is laughing so hard he has tears streaming down his face. Hyacinth just, ra <laughs> just raises an eyebrow. Don't look at me, sis. I wish I could I could take credit for this. Oh no. I know this is magic, and there's one person who has this kind of magic. And Hyacinth, her head just like, t like you know on that a in anime when their head just kind of like turns slowly and they have this glare on their face and it sounds like a door creaking open? That's what Hyacinth is doing in Hoopla's direction. <laughs> Hoopla uh, rolls on her side and just pulls down her eyelid a little bit and sticks her tongue out like, Nyeh! <laughs> Oh no, we turned into anime. <laughs> <laughs> and about this point, a couple of people show up. Yeah, Simon, t si Simon turns toward Simon turns towards Myra, and, Pan and he sees Pan. It's like, Pan, it's my best friend. He's like uh, reaching. To he's like tree toward. Come on, give me a hug. And do I need to roll oh, a strength? Man. Do I need to roll a strength check to hold Simon back? Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Hang on one second. Strength. Strength. Where is my strength? Oh crap. Nope. Uh, <laughs> nope. Yeah. Just keep slipping through my fingers like the slippery yeah, stick like, he is. <laughs> He's so determined to give Pan a hug that he just keeps on stumbling out of your out of your reach. And I'm just chasing him, still trying to catch him. Oh. He, he just he just uh -oh. keep, he just keeps run he just keeps running trying to chase after Pan. And says, "Mom, slow down! You're not playing fair." <laughs> uh, Moira's watching this with just extreme interest. Mom, so like. My pal, rolling. You're muted, honey. My pal, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> that twenty. She's honey, staying honey, right muted. out of your grip. Honey, you're muted. Uh, if you're trying to say something, you're muted. Try, try hopping out of Discord and hopping back in. Oh man, this was the best idea ever. <laughs> I'm gonna help that I am full of ramen noodles and it's good. Okay, so... There you are. That... So she scurries up this... I'm just gonna. Is this? A, can I say this is like a bookshelf? <laughs> no, it's a bench. Okay, then. Uh, I don't know what she could scurry up. Then. Use your target. <laughs> scurry up the target and then capture target. Uh, uh, Isaac is very tall. <laughs> oh, uh, <God. laughs> Improvise. Uh, uh, I am just gonna have her keep dodging and weaving through, um, basically through Simon's fingers, underneath Hyacinth's legs, through Moira's legs, you know, the, the everything just... Can she, just execute a, can she execute a wall run jump? I mean, I did take a look at my not 20. <laughs> I mean, I'm good for right now. So yeah, Simon's just Simon's just continuing. It's just like, 
It's like, come on, you're cheating. You always cheat. I'm small. <laughs> okay, um, it's been a few minutes now, and the euphoric breath is wearing off. Yeah, it's so si Simon starts slowing down, and he, he starts... And then, does he realize what he's been doing? Or is this one, <laughs> so it's that sort of thing where it just kind of blinks out your memory? No, you're pretty aware of what you've been doing. <laughs> Because <laughs> if you roll a high enough check on um, the euphoric breath, you act normally, so you have to have some semblance of consciousness. So, uh... <laughs> this is interesting. So, so Simon, uh, si Simon just suddenly stops. More <laughs> staring at you. Um, it's nice to meet you. Moira, this is Simon. Simon, this is Moira, my mistress. And the, uh, oh. She, eh, I raised her with my master after her mother passed away in childbirth. She is, eh, she is my child in everything but biology. Uh. <laughs> if, you, if you don't mind, I am going to, and I'm going to see if I can find an alchemist, so I can get some arsenic. <laughs> Raymond. Just Raymond just screams, I REGRET THE THING! <laughs> I WON'T EITHER! <laughs> I REGRET NOT BEING A PART OF THIS! Well, and, uh, Hoopla just between Ronan and Bata. The day's still new! What are you, you, you eating? Nope. <laughs> hey, um, if you all want some... Do you all want some breakfast? We could go to the boarding house. They provide breakfast for guests of students. I could use some munchies, M Master Dude. Oh, please, just call me Moira. Moira. Okay. She is only my master, not yours. Can't do a good I don't even with an empty stomach. I don't even like it when you call me Miss Call me Mistress Mappa. I can't really help it, dear. I know. Come on, let's go get some food. As you okay. wish. Leave so I'm gonna, Moira, dude. I'm gonna hop you guys over to the um, boarding wait, wait, wait. Oh. What? Oh, I was gonna tap on Phoenix's door and ask if he was coming. He was in the hall. Uh, he actually went into the back inside when he... Yeah, or the whole the day is still young. He just locks the door. Oh. It's it's Damn in it. the sideboard. Did you miss it out? Yeah. Um, yes, I did because I'm running two thousand things. Yeah. Hey, Hoopla, uh, pause at Phoenix's door. Knock knock. I'm not coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of you. Okay, Hoopla actually is stunned at that. Hoopla picks up Hoopla and then pets her like a cat. She's precious, though. She's like a kitty. But I don't want to get, get, get hit by it. that freaking trap. You can hit me with it anytime you want, Hoopla. He doesn't mean it. It was First, just a harmless prank. First, my sword is doing creepy master whispers. I know, no, there's a for gas traps and. Uh... You doing what now? Yeah, he's just gonna unlock the door now. He's uh, he ca calmed out a little bit for from that, but uh, sort of talking, talk, call, call, calling me creepy things up, creepy, creepy, spooky things up. Uh, okay, did Hoopla understand any of that? Because I mean, no. I know I, but uh, okay, you don't understand the sword. 
but I understand what he said. Of course. Your sword is talking to you? As she kind of looks to Bata and Ronan. I'm pretty sure I didn't hit him with euphoric breath. It was just Simon. I'm I mean... gonna remind you that you guys were there when the sword started whispering to him in Old Coast. Oh, not with that. Oh, uh, okay. wait. Do you want to hit with the euphoric breath? Do not worry. I shall help. I hold Hoopla like she is a rifle. No, no, no. <laughs> Cocks Hoopla and engages pursuit, taking aim. No, no, no. Fire. Dear, no, <laughs> no. Do not, do not fight the fates, dude. Ah, uh, it touched your full form. Can Hoopla be in the horizon? Fire! Uh, Pantrums Hyacinth, they have very good tea at the boarding house. Shall we go? Yes, let's. <laughs> around the, I'm around the corner, ready to open fire. Okay, um... Uh, oh, ready move. He, he, he went intangible, so he's just staying the F away from you now. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> but he had to put it in... Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he was yeah, just... Yeah, he yelling. basically put this, like, everything. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go hop on over to the boarding house. For real this time. It was worth it. So something y'all didn't quite notice before is that Pan looks very, very refreshed. She looks kind of, you know, healthier and a little bit brighter and more vibrant than you guys have pretty much ever seen her. Is that self-care? Not quite. Uh, Someone's just happy to see your kid. And that's also not quite it. I feel I need to explain something. Uh, Ronan, you remember how you rely on alcohol, obviously, to survive. I've got the, I've got the headaches and the photos to prove it, brah. I rely on caretaking to survive. It is almost a biological need for brownies. When I can't take care of people, it causes pain. If people refuse my help, if I'm not allowed to do what I'm supposed to, it hurts. You're talking as your and... character here. Yes. In this, thankfully, Moira still has not learned how to clean up her room, so I got quite a bit of work done last night. Um, but Declan He's tearing apart right away. I just stopped because it wasn't worth it. <laughs> I understand. You two both have your fun little quirks. Uh, but I... I wanted to apologize if I came off as overbearing at any point. I do just genuinely need to take care of people, and since Mistress and Master Declan weren't here, and I've been ordered to find my master's killer, I can't really take care of them, so I was running quite low. Really upset at that. Oh gosh, we didn't even think of that. Never bothered me, bruh. I just I just assumed it was a you thing. Moira, it is not Moira dear, it is not It is alright. I've been taking care of them. It has helped, but <clears throat> she kind of she kind of glances over at Simon. There have been issues. Yeah, si yeah, yeah not, Simon uh, just I mean... kind of just shifts uncomfortably there. <laughs> No, wait a minute. You're saying you want us to make messes for you to clean up? Uh, 
for like don't shut me down when I start to clean them up let me help you that's all so does that mean uh, Hoopla kind of flies up and paws at her lap Does that mean you're not going to leave us? I cannot. I still have my mission to fulfill. And Moira has to stay here for her studies. And you know, and you know I don't want to separate Mapa from her friends. She's never really been good at making friends, so I'm really glad she's got you guys now. Yeah. Look how to hands eyes. <laughs> Pan's eyes narrow, but she's not going to contradict her, her mistress slash kid. Pan is just, I mean, not Pan. Hoopla is holding out to Pan super tight, and it's just like giving a Mori, uh, Mora? Moira? Moira. Moira, uh, the, the puppy dragon eyes. And no, I was really scared she was going to leave us because she looked so happy when she was with you, and she looks even more happy right now, and I just don't want her to go. Wait. So I'm not... I'm not going, I just... Yeah, go ahead, sorry. I'm not going, I still have work to do. I still have to track down the killer, and you lot are basically have given me the biggest lead I've had in three years. Yeah, Moira nods. Mapa told me what was going on and what you've all been through last night. So, I want her to keep traveling with you. It sounds like that's the best chance we've got to find who killed my father. Speaking of, she turns to Moira. Yes? We are seeking a Grand Sealy, and there is one nearby. Have you detected anything abnormally powerful recently? I did moving out towards the west. The West? That would yes. be the ruins. Hmm. Oh, right. I guess that's where we will be heading. Oh, I've been wanting to go to the ruins again anyway. The last time I was there, um... Adventures. Alright. <laughs> Hey, no, no, Mapa, no. nothing that threatened my life. Don't worry. Meaning no disrespect, Moira. It has been very, um, perilous the past few days. We've encountered many different things, and probably, if not for your sake, for Pan's sake, you might want to stay behind. Also, on that account, I don't know how a Grand Sealy would feel about having a mortal about. Never get a chance like this again. Very well. It's just a suggestion. Moira is a very capable uh, wizard. She's been studying for several years. She can be an asset. However... You hard I can hear that. I I can hear it in your tone, Mapa. You don't want me to go. Only for your safety, not because I think you not because I don't think ugh. I think you are <laughs> fully capable and grown up and a very talented, intelligent wizard. But on the same hand, I am me. I don't do the putting you and Declan in danger thing very well. I nearly had a heart attack when you went on the swings for the first time. Once again, for my, for if not for your sake, then for Pan's. I think it would be very good for her education if she comes along. But I will be sticking by her very closely. <laughs> good heavens, Mom. <laughs> you If you read that any more wooden, I might mistake you for a puppet. Like I said, eternal maternity. Oh, I mean, all right. 
was like, I thought worry. you were going to say, if you were any more wooden, you'd be hyacinth. She'd... Mm. <laughs> no. 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 Yeah. I've so made like... Katie mad at me enough for this arc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Simon raises his hand. Before we get underway, um, I believe that this is probably a good time to ask. He, he stands in the center of everyone and, lo and looks around. Anyone else have any spectacular and fantastic needs that might kill them if we don't address them? Other than basic tree needs, I'm okay. I would like more grape juice. Is that? <laughs> it's a, it's a, Simon. Simon looks at Simon looks at Bata. Given what we've Bata been through, has I'm the cheekiest grin. Yeah, I don't know. Given what we've been through, I can't tell if he's serious. <laughs> Bata's smile is not helping this matter. It's all in the way, bruh. I'd like some grape juice too. All right. And no, Raymond laughs. I'm getting my daily dose of chaos, so I'm good. Phoenix. Everything I need is uh, a. Oh, sorry. Not Master Phoenix. I'm. It's like Simon. Simon looks over. I'm serious. It's, if this is a matter of life and death, we we do need to know so we don't have another. We we don't. He points towards Ronan and Pan. We don't have another this. Well, thanks for not naming names, dude. Oof. Um, Phoenix did mention something about talking to a sword, and um, he looked a little antsy this morning. I thought it was just because of the prank, but um, this is a sword. Wait, talking does. Uh -oh. Why am why, 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 why talking to a sword make you... Hi, Bon. Does that? Phoenix, what did it say to you? Oh, um, yeah, uh, shoot, I missed that. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, Phoenix shuffles a little bit on his face. It's like, it said only one thing, and after that, I decided to go to bed because I was royally creeped out. What did it say that creeped you out? He just pauses for a second, then he crouches down to whisper it, so give, give me a second. Hmm. Moira? How well versed are you in magical artifacts and weapons? I'm doing... I've doing, been doing my own personal research. I wouldn't say that I'm an expert, but I do find the subject really fascinating. Do you, th do you think you could take a look at uh, Not Master Phoenix's sword and perhaps give your almost professional opinion? Certainly. Let me see this sword. Uh, Phoenix will first it. Careful, okay, it's uh, a little cold. Moira puts her hand on the handle and she jumps. Goodness, that's more than just a little cold. That almost feels like ice. Come on, computer! Don't slow load on me! Okay, so, um... Hmm... Made of pure magic, from the looks of it. This... Doesn't look like an artifact. In fact, it looks brand new. Hmm. Hmm. Moira flips it around. And, hang on, I think I gave her a spell for this. Yes, I did. Good. No. Yay, Ellie. Um. Uh. She casts Detect Magic on it. And... <sighs> Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh my goodness! That's not a good sign. 
Oh, what wow. Is it? This thing is powerful. Hmm. It any it almost feels It almost feels like it's a piece of something. Any possible uh any possibilities of discerning its origin, or is that a little too advanced for this an art of uh, a weapon of this type? Well, I certainly couldn't do it quickly. I would need a lot more time to study it. Someone in the mm. ballpark of years. Mm. Knowing that sword, it probably wouldn't want to be away from Phoenix for, for very long. This will have to do for now. Well, Moria, no offense, but... Uh... Do you know anyone who might have the skills for, for something like that to be able to do it a little bit faster? Not off the top of my head, no. Blast. Worth a shot. Well, we can always ask the Grand Sealy if we do manage to find it. Mm. Hold on a second. Um, the second you say that, Oops, I think the sword wants to come back to me. Moira hands the sword back. Insane! Thank you. Did I say something? I apologize if I said something wrong. Pan speaks directly to the sword there. <laughs> <laughs> We're treating it like like, so, like it's a new party member. To be fair... She looks up at she looks up at Phoenix. To be fair, we don't know if it has feelings or not. We do know that thanks to you, it's his pressure. Well, it does. I hate well, how accurate that is. Well, we can obviously. Well, Phoenix can obviously have a conversation with it. it speaks to some sort of intelligence. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, not Master maybe, Phoenix. Maybe it would. I don't know. Maybe it would help you a little bit, Pan, if uh, you started taking care of uh, it a little bit. Be taking care of the sword. Moira starts giggling. What do you expect her to do? Put it in a high chair and feed it mushed peas? Well, now I'm kind of expecting it. Maybe we can find a weapon repair kit or something. She looks at the sword. Do you like mus mush peas? Uh, <laughs> uh, Phoenix, you actually feel what? You actually feel a strange wave of, of energy from the blade. That kind of feels like a what the f? <laughs> <laughs> I. Great, you have confused my sword. Because <laughs> I've been playing and watching Pokemon a lot, Pam casts Confusion. <laughs> it's like, I'm glad you're not confused. Thank you. That thing's been confusing since the day we got it, Braz. You're not the one who has to understand it! <laughs> I mean, I'll happily clean it for you if you wish. I don't think it can eat. I said clean. Oh, please. Question about the conversing thing. How do we know where we're going to get a straight answer out of it? Well, from what we've seen of it thus far, Phoenix, I think maybe you should stop being scared of it. I'll stop being scared when it stops calling me a master. Uh, Hoopla kind of jumps on the table to get eye level with him. It calls you master because clearly it was drawn to you and only you. Maybe it's a compliment. And I, I, I hate to be... Ugh, I really, really hate to exercise my wisdom here. But as a fairy dragon, I don't know how old I've been on this planet, but if something looks up to you and calls you its master... You're kind of obligated to take care of it. It will hurt its feelings if you don't. I mean, I'm, I'm not going a to dumbass. I'm a dumbass. What? I, 
completely forgot my goggles. Give me that sword. Uh, okay, but only for a minute because I think it doesn't want to get uh, get away from me for too long. Okay, so I'm stupid. I completely forgot he had this. Hey. Learn its properties and how to use them, whether it requires attunement to use, how many charges it has, if any. You learn whether your spells are affecting the item, what they are. If the item was created by a spell, you learn which spell created it. Hmm. Uh, Ray pulls his goggles down and takes a really good look at the sword. And he takes um he takes a minute to he takes a minute to, like, flip it over and examine it closely. Hmm. That's weird. I don't... This... Okay, this thing is solid magic. We already know that, but... And it was definitely... It was definitely created by magic, but... Huh. Huh. I don't think it was created by a spell. So likely a pure magic being. And you said, Moira, that it looked like a piece of something. So perhaps a purely magic being took a piece of itself and fashioned it into a weapon. And then gave it scenario, to yes. Simon raises his hand. Shot in the dark, but... Uh... There are a lot of fey things going on right now. Maybe that's from a uh, very powerful fey. This does look like fey magic that's all over this thing, so... To well, be honest... To be fair, it, it... To be fair, huh? it called itself fey blade, so... Well, and well, that ain't a dead giveaway. And Raymond hands... Raymond hands the, um sword back to Phoenix and takes his goggles off. Oh, why is he not in his coat? So, what was that, Bata? No, an out-of-character Steve. Yeah. Saying Beyblade, I'm like, oh, let it rip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, second! I heard it! I was what? thinking it! I just didn't want to say it out loud! I was praying nobody would make that joke. So, uh, So, question remains, is who, uh, what does anyone know what Fey might be strong enough to do something like this? Don't well, give it to Phoenix. To be fair, the master thing makes me think it might be something related to one of well my kind. Hmm. Just Maybe. because of the sheer loyalty of it all. Fey, no. Go ahead. To be honest, most Fey are not like me. We don't serve anyone else. We are very. Uh, most of us are very free spirited. She waves around at pretty much everybody in the room. We brownies are one of the few that have a very strict code, especially those of my sect, the uh, the sect of uh, the clan of Wandering Duty. So, I feel like this could have something related to that. But I don't know for sure. All I know is that of all of the Fae, I am perhaps my kind, or perhaps the most duty oriented and master oriented. So, we don't have enough puzzle pieces. Not quite. Okay, Phoenix takes a deep breath. Let's start. Well, in that case, let me at least properly introduce you to the sword, in case it, it is alive. I know it's listening to us, so, everyone, this is Wolfbite. Ray blinks. What's his name? Wolfbite. I thought you said what? his name was Ben. No, that's the not of... fair! <laughs> <laughs> the, type, the type of blade is Fate Blade, but... It gave it its name a few of days back. Ah. Hmm. Wolf Knight. I will dwell upon this name. In that case, pleasure, pleasure to meet you, uh, bitey dude. 
Please don't hijack our bro. <laughs> I mean, I would appreciate that as well. Well, um, if it's all the sa if it's all the same to everyone, I think we should probably get underway. You were the one who wondered about the life and death situation in the first place. Mm, I think he needs another dose of euphoric breath, Ray. <laughs> Seconds this. I third this. Okay. But I'm pulling the trigger this time. Ray pulls up. Ray pulls out like another little satchel that seems like it's seems like it's still full. I still got more. In any case, shall we let it, uh, Moira? You've been to the ruins, yes? Would you lead us there? Have uh, yes. All right. And up we go! Um, <clears throat> If I may pull from something from when we you were far younger, dear. Following the leader, the leader, the leader, <gasps> following <laughs> the leader, wherever she may go. Papa, uh, how old do you think I still am? Everybody! Logically or emotionally, dear? This way. <laughs> Follow me. Moira just sounds dead now. Lean on, Master Bra. Um, question though. Are we going to wait until nightfall, or are we going, or are we going during the day? Because I'm afraid it will be a bit more difficult to get there during the day. Right. Hyacinth, have you detected m the magic being stronger during the day or at night? Yeah. It's been pretty consistent. It's been consistent throughout. It doesn't really make a difference. Hmm. Is there anything we stand to risk by waiting? I think so. I mean, I think it's riskier to go during the day. Especially with you two. And I don't think that black is exactly desert friendly. He's got a point. Well, ex well, excuse me. I've dressed this way ever since father died. Oof. It's very becoming of you, dear. Uh, mm. Moira kind of pats her hair. There are occasions I do regret this, though. I kind of miss the blonde. <laughs> Uh, about to, um, seems visibly sad from, then gets better and then says, oh, sorry. Uh, you okay there, Big Strong? Yeah, everything. Yeah, no, you, just... you sure? You've been acting weird lately. No, I've just been tired. We've been traveling a lot. Uh, yeah, okay, um, I'm gonna have you roll deception on that BS. Really deception! <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if he gets a nat 20. I will too. <laughs> oh my oh, god! He almost did! <laughs> Close enough. I'm completely honest. Uh, Ray stares at Bata for a minute, then sighs. Alright, fine, whatever. Okay, I believe you. He doesn't believe him, but he has no way of... He has uh, He failed his insight check. Looks <laughs> just like rubbing her arms around his neck like in a hug and like, hold me! <laughs> and, <laughs> it feel better. and Arthur gladly hugs back. Yes. So si Simon, uh, m Simon mo <laughs> uh, moves up to Moira. So we have a... How did you do that so fast? How did I do what so fast? Dogie. Look in the look oh. in the server. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, that's really good. Sorry. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Moira. Uh, Simon moves up to Moira and asks, "So we have a long time before we actually going to head out. What does one do around here?" The marketplace. Right. Or we could go to the tavern. 
Uh, I think I'm Ray's just... eyes light up. Avern? Avern. I will stick with you, Moira. If you wish to go to the tavern, I can work on Ronan's pants. I think something to eat first, and then I'll just head to make sure nobody steals our horse. My horse! Yes, your horse. I can also make food. Send Ray, um, Ray chuckles and he looks over at Ronan. Hey, uh, goat boy, why don't you... Why don't you sing a bit at the tavern? <clears throat> Is that a challenge? Maybe. Alright, dudes, I, I feel like I got a tune building up somewhere inside me, so let's do it. It's All right. Up. We'll hit. We'll go to the tavern first, then the marketplace, and then we'll head out. Mm -hmm. Sounds right. good. All right. Maybe. Wonder if they'll actually let me cook here. <laughs> All right. Moira mutters, "I wonder if it's more intelligent to say. I wonder if they can stop you." Uh, you'd be surprised, dear. I've met some very, very. Mm, Culinarily challenged, folks. So, mm. is, so is Pan going to do anything? Greetings, yeah. Greetings, barman. Oh, if I do, I would like to cook for you. May I? Um, I beg your pardon. Just say yes, dude. She's not gonna give up. Seriously, it, no, seriously, it's easier. <laughs> um, they, they will drink. I will cook. Win-win. Well, I am not the one in charge of the kitchen. I just man the bar. I just man the bar. You will have you... to. Ask, you will have to ask the owner. She is in the kitchen right now. Oh no, another woman. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow! And feminism marches on. Yeah, especially Woo! since that woman's in the kitchen. <laughs> and we hit a snag. Oh. Hello, I would like to cook. May I? Um, that is one hell of an introduction. Normally, we <laughs> tell each other our names first. I am Pan. I would like to cook. May I? <laughs> that woman is giving you the most confused look ever. What exactly are you? I am a brownie. A brownie? It's a fey creature. I like to cook. May I? A fey creature? Oh, goodness. Um, I... <sighs> I suppose, but you must pay for the ingredients you use. That is fine. Hmm. I hope this goes well. Yeah. Oh, please be okay. You're taking oh, advantage hey. because uh, oh. <laughs> I was That's about to say, can she get advantage because she asked nicely and is it in on anyone's way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you. Uh, do the, do your thing, Pam. And, yeah. uh... Ray elbows Ronan. Dude! Look at how many people are around. I'm getting the vibe, dude. Uh, do I roll anything? Roll perform. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh. well, okay. WHY THE HELL WAS IT ON ADVANTAGE?! Hey, it was still the first one. It was first one, yeah. so yeah, that counts. <laughs> so, um... Oh, great. Ronan, you, you hop up onto... onto the, um, counter. And you... And you pull out your loot. Play me a song, Mr. Goatman! Rolls that 20, proceeds to play Dragon Force on loot. <laughs> Is it loot or flute? Loot. Oh. Okay. 
okay there? Yeah, I just love this song. <laughs> The um, audience is enraptured by his performing, and some of them look absolutely. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Joey. I lost what I was saying. The audience was enraptured. Yeah, enraptured. Yeah, some of them look. Now, some of them look especially fascinated, like. They've never heard a song like this before. Uh, Pan comes out with all of her, with the with the pie and with the. Basically, I put the meal in the sidebar, and she has plates overflowing all over the place, and she starts handing them to people. Moira is served first because, of course. Mm-hmm. And then. Uh, gonna t gonna say that's about too gold for everything. Oh well. His daughter stood aside and buried deep beneath the waves, betrayed by family. And she makes sure to give the bartender a meal as well, and everyone in the kitchen as well. Because that's Pan. Everybody needs to eat. <laughs> Unless you're like a freaking gelatinous cube or something. Yum 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 yum. Ha! <laughs> gelatinous cube. <laughs> Who doesn't eat? I know. But Phoenix is in, in a little bit funny. Phoenix. Where is he gonna eat? There's a back room over here, Phoenix. Oh, thank heavens. Thank the lady. Let, let's just say he managed to go, go to the back room. Okay. Uh, wrong back room! Basically, yeah, she's like, excuse me. Uh, Hoopla yep. sighs watching Phoenix. Uh, I'm, I've come to relieve you for the moment. Uh, I have brought you dinner. Ah, thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you, my tavern dudes! I didn't get a chance to calc the gold. Hang on. Dang damn it! Too much! Uh, why did I click off of it? Nom 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 nom! Can't believe that. Um, Because of how many people are there, you got a hundred gold from that. Woo! Woo! Cha-ching! Richest man uh, on the party now. Yep. Oh, um... Pan especially drops off an extra larger... Uh, an extra, uh, bigger portion of the spinach and pomegranate seed salad, a little bit of coleslaw because it's mostly vegetables anyway, and a cup of tea for Hyacinth. I know you don't need all of it, just eat what you want and give the rest to everyone else. Thank you very much. Nom, 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 nom. You know, nothing else is going. Nothing else is going on. You could say that out loud, Simon. Oh well, it's just people were talking, and I just thought I'd do that. All right, so hey, Hyacinth, out of curiosity, when you sense the Grand Seelies, did the powers all feel the same, or were there any differences? Yeah. The level of power was the same. But the sort of vibe each one gave off was different. Like, the plain Sealy felt almost playful. And this one feels 
a lot, a little bit more serious. This one seems more serious, but in pow but in sense of power, it's pretty much on the same level. What about the one on the sea? More... One on the sea, damn. <laughs> the one on the sea has actually been incredibly difficult for you to pin down because sometimes it almost feels parental, then it feels powerful, then it feels almost angry, then it feels sad. That one is a, a little different. It changes. The flitting one, I can't even get a barely get a reading on its location, let alone on what kind of thing it is. Alright. Alright, worth a shot. Think it, what do you think it means, fish boy? No idea, but I think I think it just means that whatever uh, whatever feeling she's getting from each of them is probably what the Grand Sealy we meet is going to be like. So I think we best plan our diplomacy accordingly. Yes. After the one out at sea is, so the one out at sea is moody, huh? Oh. It changes. It changes between anger, parental, uh, like a very strong energy, sadness. It, it doesn't stay the same, whereas the plain Sealy we felt was very playful. And this one that we are closest to, it's it's a little more serious than that. The one out at sea sounds like Torin on... Well, I'm not gonna finish that thought. <laughs> <laughs> so we try... So when we address this Grand Sealy, we... Attempt to speak to it like uh, we are speaking to Pan. Got it. Hyacinth turns to Ronin. <laughs> it'll, it'll be best to turn it off when we come across this Sealy. Oh, me, myself? Are you saying that you don't need the powers of the Persuader Slayer? No, I, I, I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is it has to be turned off while you are talking to the Sealy. So you don't say something insulting and get us all killed. Ray kind of elbows Ronan and points at his mouth. This dude. Dude. Bruh, this. <sighs> All right, fine. <laughs> yeah, but only when we get there. You can talk like that until then. Oh, uh, th thank, th thank the unicorns, dudes. I wonder if this Grand Sealy will look similar to the last one, since it's land based as well. I wasn't expecting the Seaborn one to look like the last one, but perhaps this one may. So what are you expecting, like a camel or something? No. Or an armadillo? Uh, worst case scenario would be a snake. Oh, it's a beautiful white deer! I would be oh, much sure. happier with a white deer. Uh, Simon mo moves over to Moira and asks, So, about these ruins, anything we should know about them? Do have some traps in there, and the last time I was in there, I thought I heard... I thought I heard something in the depths, but I opted to not take that risk. Thank you. Well, we still got we still got time before we have to head out. Is there is there any way we can learn more about them? The only no, only students and teachers such as myself know anything about the ruins, but most of us have been trying to avoid it because well, it's dangerous in there. Hmm. <laughs> You stay behind me when we're there, you understand me. 
Yes, my pa. Thank you. So, the ruins. What was there before they were ruins? We're not sure. We may wind up finding out for them. Alright. This will look very good on your dissertation, dear. Hmm. Good. Alright, so, Simon uh, moves back to the group. Alright, uh... So, I have just uh, pried more for, more for information, and it appears that there's going to be some traps in this dungeon. And, um, as we have established, I am not Mr. Perceptive. So, how, how are we, we going to... We could probably count on me and Spooky for that. Alright. And I used my intangibility for the day already. All right, so... Unless I take a long rest now. <laughs> I mean, you could, feasibly. Yeah. So do you want to just head back up to the um, inn and just rest? Because you still got the inn until nightfall. Yeah, Phoenix is just gonna do that. The se second pad comes over and Phoenix gives their empty plate. He did eat it all. It's like, all right. I used my intangibility for today, and I think I need. And there's still some time to sleep, so I think I'll do that. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Better be fully rested before we go anywhere. Uh, I'll let do you. I will. Do you know where we're going? We will be heading to the ruins out to the west. Uh, I do not. I do not believe we will be using the cart because it. I don't want something to happen. Personally, I don't want something to happen to Tioti if we're in the dungeon and something happens to us. So I would prefer to leave her here at the stables. So we will meet back here before we leave, alright? Uh, Phoenix's ears twitch a little. He, he's not happy about that, but he knows. Alright. What? Everyone Why? Everyone else is on agreement with that. What is it, Phoenix? I don't want to leave Tioti behind. I understand that, but what if something happens to us and she's left out in the desert to fend for herself? She can't get out of that cart on her own. At least here she would be taken care of until something... until either we could get a message here or something like that. I do understand where you're coming from, though. We can talk about it more later once you wake, but that is just my opinion. I just don't want anything to, any harm to come to her. I know she means a lot to you. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you're right. Anyways. I'll head back to the inn. Just wake me up when you need me. Of course. Uh, and if and if everyone else wants to take TUT, I will be perfectly fine with that. I just want to keep her safe, you know? You'll be perfectly fine with that, I'm sure. <laughs> also... Make sure Raymond and Ronan don't start another tricky game. Don't tempt don't te us, dude. We can't hear them. Uh, well, I can't really do anything about Ronan, but if Raymond tries, I do have a whole bunch of magic he does not like. Okay, good, because I had no time to pickpocket him earlier. Alright. You go get some rest. Uh, Phoenix does a uh, two-finger salute as he walks away. Uh, Phoenix, not Master Phoenix, is going to be taking a rest. So shall the rest of us head to the market? Might as well. Later on, my dudes! <laughs> 